since 8 Mubarak 2024 is near, I think it will be a good time to talk about it. First of all, yes, I'm a Muslim. If you're offended, you are racist, Islamophobic. Second of all, I want to wish Happy 8 Mubarak to all Muslims all around the world. I'm sure you guys aren't from Middle East, but I'm still wishing. So I shout for everybody and my name is Jamila Boy. A Mubarak celebration across the world is very different in every country. Let's start with the GOAT, the greatest country in the world. No political issue ever happened in this country. Kesultanan Melayu Melaka. Hundreds years after, that is called Malaysia. Wait, you're Malaysian? Yeah, that's literally Malay in the Malay boy. I didn't know that. Wait, are you new here? Yeah. In Malaysia, Ed Mubarak was celebrated with bombing, I mean fireworks. At the final day of Ramadan, after breaking fast, people start to light up the fireworks. They also throw it at people sometimes. I'm walking on a road. Hey, so that that guy. Okay. Astaghfirullah, you kids are the worst. Other than that, in the morning, Muslims go to the mosque for a prayer and visit family and friends. Also, visiting hometowns is common here. Okay, let's see at other cultures. Warning, this may be 75% accurate facts about other cultures across the world. I got this information from Darcy Flowers. For some reason, there is an article about it, so yeah, I'm, I don't know, don't ask me. In Saudi Arabia, the day is marked by they have a feast, visit family and friends, got drip, and getting money. That's universal. From my research, Saudis participate in traditional activities such as falconry, camera races, and traditional dances. What? First of all, Arab people do falconry. Second, camel races? That's a thing? Why do we during Eid Mubarak though? I'm not familiar with some cultures, okay? Traditional dances is kind of fine to me. They do the greedy though. Eid in Turkey. Eid is called, I'm not reading that. Sugar feast. Why they call it sugar feast? The elders give some sweets to the children. I want to make a diabetes joke, but I refuse to do it because it can offend the whole country. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, they made a public festival. Well, that's interesting. They do some carnival activities such as mechanical bulls, human footballs, and food vendors selling delicious treats. Food vendors are fine, but mechanical bulls and human football? What the heck is human football? Oh, this football game thingy, but real people. I get it. In Iceland, there are less Muslims there. I mean, the fasting time is 22 hours. I probably can lose weight there. Eh? Some mosques make a buffet during the celebration. Hey, at least you don't have to pay for it. In Murika, Abu Freedom! <laughs> at celebrations in the United States are marked by a fusion cultural tradition, such as wearing traditional clothing, listening to music, and enjoying traditional dishes. Fusion of cultural traditions. I bet people wear Middle East clothes during the celebration. Do America have tradition since it have so many cultures there? I never seen people wear any narrative American clothing. It covers our world though. So there are some different ed celebration across the world. What can I say about these cultures is... All of them gonna get bombed by the fireworks show. Damn your cats! 